Hey everyone, so if you're having a problem with your PS4 where one day you turn it on and you get this message where it says cannot start the PS4, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PS button, you're in the right place and I'm going to show you guys steps you can take to fix this problem. Okay, so to fix this problem, we're going to hop on over on our PS4 and you're going to need your PS4 controller. You're also going to need the original USB cable that came with your PS4. Okay, so hook up the small end to your PS4 controller and then you're going to hook up the bigger end to the front of your PS4. Okay, and now we're going to do as the screen says, we're going to go ahead and push the PS button to get started. Okay, and if you're getting this problem where you press the PS button and it turns orange just like here and nothing happens on the screen, then that means you're not using the original USB cable that came in your PS4. Now you can look around your house to see if you have another cable, but if you don't, I will leave a link to a compatible USB cable down in the description below. So go ahead and take a look at that if you need it. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect my compatible USB cable to my controller, and now I'm gonna connect the bigger end to the PS4. Okay, now that you have your compatible USB cable connected, you'll see that when you press the PS button, you won't see that flashing orange light anymore. And then your PS4 will go to the next screen. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to what it says on the screen. In this example, it says connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 7.51 or later. Now, if you're getting this error message, it's telling you that it wants the full system software update. And basically what's gonna happen if you do this and you install the file for reinstallation, it's gonna wipe the contents of your PS4. So I'm gonna go through a few different options that you can take a look at to see if perhaps you can just install the update file without doing the full reinstall, which is basically gonna reinitialize your PS4. Okay, since right now I'm not ready to wipe everything on my PS4, I'm gonna hit the O button to go back, and this is gonna turn off your PS4. So what you're gonna wanna do now is, while the PS4 controller is connected with the USB cable, you're gonna wanna put your PS4 into safe mode. The way to put your PS4 into safe mode is to hold down the power button until you hear two beeps, so keep holding when you hear that first beep. Wait, and when you hear the second beep, go ahead and let go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and press the PS button on this screen, and then you'll see a bunch of options that come out in safe mode. So if you have the other options enabled, then you can try to see if you can salvage your PS4 without wiping everything on it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through each of these options and see which ones are the ones that can possibly help us. Now we're gonna skip option three because I'm gonna come back to it. Okay, so the next one you'll want to try is option number four, which is restore default settings. This is going to restore the settings back to the factory default. And sometimes that will fix the problem with your PS4 and we'll get it booted up again and running. So if you have option number four enabled, go ahead and try option number four and it's going to restart your PS4. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, then go back into save mode and then try option number five, which is rebuild database. Now I get this question a lot with these options erase everything on your PS4. While option number four should not erase anything on your PS4, option number five, I would say 80% of the time, it doesn't erase anything on your PS4. However, if it's badly corrupted, I have heard reports back from some of my subscribers that say that when they do the rebuild database, some other games get deleted and they have to just re-download it. Okay, with that being said, go ahead and try option number five, which is rebuild database. So rebuilding the database shouldn't take too long. I would say it takes about three to 10 minutes. Okay, and the very last thing that you can try that won't delete the files on your PS4 is to try to update the system software update manually. And that's option number three. So you can take a look at the video that's gonna show up on your screen right now. That's gonna show you two ways to install the update system software manually. Now, if none of these options work, then I have some bad news for you. That means that your PS4 system software somehow got corrupted or your hard drive is going bad. So what you're gonna have to do is reinitialize your PS4. Yes, that means that all the data on your PS4 hard drive will be erased. Now, if you had PlayStation Plus already beforehand, before this happened, and you had automatic save games enabled, then you should be able to re-download your PS4 save games for single player games such as Until Dawn and The Last of Us. Now, if you play multiplayer games like Call of Duty or Fortnite, now that information such as your skins and all that is stored on the game servers online. So you don't have to worry about losing that kind of data. 
However, stuff like your game captures will be deleted. Now, I know a lot of you are not going to like what I just said, and you don't want to lose your saved games for games you've played for so long and earn all these uh, achievements and unlocks and all that. But these are your options. Basically, you keep your PS4 in a non-working state or you reload the system software and get it working and download your games again. You can re-sign in with your PlayStation account and download all the games if you already paid for with your PSN account. And again, games like Fortnite, Call of Duty, you're going to access your characters just the same. So no worries there. But yeah, some of you are going to have to make the ultimate decision of whether to go ahead and reinitialize your PS4. Now, a lot of you are going to ask, well, is there any way I can back up my games while in safe mode, while you're stuck in this loop in safe mode? And unfortunately, the answer is no. As far as I know, the answer is no. You can't back up your games while in safe mode. You would have to somehow get back to your regular home screen to do that. So for safe mode, all the options you see here is what you can do. There is no option for backup. And even if you remove the hard drive from your PS4, the file system is totally different than that on your Windows computer or Mac and all the data is encrypted. So you wouldn't be able to retrieve any data. Okay, with that being said, and if you're ready to initialize your PS4, I'm going to show you the two different ways you can do it. So the easiest way is if you have option six enabled, you're going to want to select option six, initialize your PS4. You're not going to need a USB drive for this or anything else. You just select option six if it is available and it's going to wipe everything on your PS4. So be forewarned about that. And then it's going to restart and then your PS4 will come back just like it was when you got it new. And then you can re-sign into your PSN account and start re-downloading all your games and get playing again. Okay, so if you have the screen such as I do right here, where everything is grayed out except for option number seven, where it says initialize PS4, and then in parentheses it says reinstall system software, then the only way to get your PS4 working again is to download the PS4 system software onto a USB flash drive. So you will need a USB flash drive for this, and you will need a computer in order to download the software and copy it to the flash drive. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now is grab your USB flash drive and hop on over to your computer where I'm going to show you how to prepare your USB flash drive. And then and I'll show you how you can download the PS4 system software for reinstallation. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, once you plug in your flash drive, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. And in my case, my USB drive is the letter K. So if you don't see this window with the contents of your USB drive, just go to the left side here and find the correct drive letter and click on it. And next, you're going to want to create two folders. The first one is, so click on the folder here. You're going to want to name it capital PS4. Press enter. Go ahead and go into that folder, double click. And I want to create a second folder, again in capital letters, called update. Press enter. Okay, before we actually go and download the file, we're going to want to double check that our USB drive is formatted correctly. Now, if you right click on the drive letter of your USB drive and hit properties, you're going to want to look under general tab right here where it says file system. Now the two file systems that the PS4 accepts is FAT32 and XFAT. So again, that's FAT32 or EXFAT. Now, if your file system on your USB drive says NTFS, then that's not going to work for your PS4. We're going to want to go ahead and reformat it to the correct file system. So if your USB drive is not formatted correctly, you're going to want to right click, hit format, and under file system, either select FAT32 or XFAT. Either one of these will work. And then you can go ahead and label it to whatever you want. You can use a USB flash drive and so on. And make sure that the quick format is checked. Uh, that's going to make the formatting much faster. And then hit start and that should format your USB drive. Now keep in mind that this is going to wipe everything off the USB drive. So you'll want to back up the contents of your USB drive before you format the flash drive. Okay, once our flash drive has the correct file system, then we can go ahead and proceed to create the folders required for the PS4 system software update. Okay, now that we created the file folders needed for the system software update, you're going to want to go down to the description of this video and click on the link for the PS4 system software update download. And that's going to bring you to this page right here. And the current version as of today's date is software update 7.51. However, if you're viewing this in the future and it has a different system software update, no problem. It will work just fine. Just go ahead and download whatever the latest system software update is. Okay. So what you want to do is scroll down. And then you will see two different options for downloading the PS4 system software. On the left, you'll see download PS4 update file. On the right, you'll see download PS4 reinstallation file. 
Okay, so like that screen mentioned on your PS4, we want the reinstallation file and not the update file. The update file is much smaller, it doesn't contain everything that's needed to get the full system software on your PS4 and get your PS4 up and running again. So again, installing the reinstallation file is also referred to as a factory or hard reset. And if you had problems following along to the instructions I gave earlier about creating the folder files or formatting your USB drive the correct way, you can click on this guide here. So it's going to take you to this website where it has written instructions on how you can prepare your USB flash drive to get the PS4 system software file for reinstallation on there to get your PS4 up and running again. Okay, when you're ready to download the PS4 reinstallation file, again, you're going to want to select the one on the right that says reinstallation. Go ahead and click on download PS4 reinstallation file. And this is very important. Make sure you don't click open. You want to click save. Okay. Once it finishes downloading, you can go ahead and click on view downloads or just go to the download folder where your web browser usually downloads files to. Then I'm going to go ahead and click open folder. Okay. So here we see the file we just downloaded. We're going to want to go ahead and right click, hit copy, go over to our key drive, which is a USB flash drive that we have go into our PS4 folder by double clicking, then double click into the update folder, then right click and hit paste. Now don't try to open the file or anything, leave it on there and go ahead and eject your USB flash drive at this point. And we're going to go ahead and connect it to our PS4 and go from there. Go ahead and make sure your PS4 is connected with the USB cable onto your PS4. Go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive onto your PS4. Now, if you don't have a USB flash drive and need one, or for example, if your USB flash drive is not compatible with your PS4, like this one where it's too thick, then you can take a look down in the description below and I'm going to have a link to a compatible USB flash drive that works with the PS4. Okay, so go ahead and take your flash drive and plug it in and make sure the flash drive is all the way in. Now simply go ahead and turn on your PS4, hit the power button. Okay, on this screen, go ahead and press the PS button. And then you're going to want to use the D-pad here. Don't use this analog stick. Use the D-pad to go to the right to OK, and then press the X button. And now this is going to read the contents of the update file from your flash drive that you prepared. And it's going to load the PS4 system software onto the PS4 and get your PS4 working again. Okay, again, a warning that your PS4 will be initialized. That means all users and all data will be deleted. Go ahead and go to the right and press X for yes. So at this point, it's initializing or wiping the data off of your PS4. And that part is fairly fast. Now it's going to go ahead and copy the system software onto your hard drive on your PS4. Okay, after reboots, it's going to go ahead and install the reinstallation update file, as you can see here. Okay, at this point, your PS4 is going to restart and you should see some of these screens you see here. Okay, so once you get to this blue screen where it's asking you to connect your PS4 controller to the PS4 using a cable, then you can go ahead and remove your USB flash drive. And then you can go ahead and proceed to set up your reinitialized PS4. Now, if for some reason, while trying this fix, you experience some problems such as it gets stuck certain percentage while installing the update file, or if you get errors such as cannot access system storage, then that means your hard drive has gone bad and you need to replace it. I will leave a link down in the description below to a compatible hard drive that will work on your PS4. So you can go ahead and pick that up and you can go ahead and take a look at the video that's going to pop up on your screen right now. That's going to have some instructions on how you can install your new hard drive and install the PS4 system software on it. Okay, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and take a look at these PS4 related videos you can see here on the right. Till the next video, I'll see you then.